Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to have a look at how to do pivot tables. So I intend to do two pivot tables, one on this set of data and one on this set of data. So first of all, to do a pivot table, you need to click into the data somewhere and then go insert, either insert on the menus or insert on the tabs, whichever you've got active or you prefer, and then it will select that data. So let's have a look at doing this. So current selection, that's OK. Click OK. And then it gives you the layout box. You've got some options here and source options here. I'm just going to uh, tick this option. I'll show you what that does in a second. Now, if your range needs to grow from that, you can use a named range, which I haven't named it at the moment, but you could go in there. And the minute this is at 432, so if anything gets added on at the bottom, it's not going to pick it up. You'd have to come in and change it. Now, if I put this option on, that means I can click into here and then just click onto the sheet where I want it to go. And now this is going to go or start in H2, but now I need to populate these boxes. So first of all, Sales goes in there, that's whatever you want to summarize by, and then location into roles, and then whatever you want to filter on, you can put into this option up here, like that. So, checking everything there, everything looks okay. So, I'll just click OK, and it just drops into the, the um, sheet, like so. Now, that tick that I did, if I double click on a figure for one of these, say it's for Derby, double click, it will extract all the data for, from Derby and drop it into a separate sheet, which is quite a cool feature. Now to go into that again, if I right click and go into properties, it, that was in this these options, that was that, that I ticked there, that allowed me to double click on these fields and then pull off the information, that's what that means, drill into details. I'll click OK, I'll just leave that on there. So at the moment we've got some data, if I want to look at this by a filter, I can just take the filter off and let's say look at the first quarter sales, that's the first quarter sales. If I want to look at a particular person, take the filter off, tick the person, okay. So that is Anne Pearson's first quarter sales coming off this list. So that's what a pivot table is basically, it's just a means of manipulating large data sets into a nice and simple table. Now if you want to put a graph on that, you can go to the insert tab and select chart and go through the options of creating this chart. So a column chart would be okay for this location and chart elements. You can fill that in if you want. I'm just going to leave that blank for now and go finish. And then you can just basically move this chart to where you want it to be. And what you'll see now is if I change that filter back to all and then okay, the graph will respond to that. Now I don't need um, some of this, this data there. I don't need the legend. Just give myself a bit more space. I'll click away from that again. So it's still on Anne Pearson. If I select all and then OK, now it's showing me everything, all sales. So this graph is reacting to that data. Now, if I wanted to use a named range for a pivot table, so if I do undo, let's get rid of all this. Keep doing undo until it disappears. There we go. What you have to do to do a name range is basically highlight the columns first off. And let's just call that area data. Now I've called that data, so that's going all the way past the bottom of this table. Anything getting added on at the bottom will be picked up. And then I just go through the process again, insert pivot table. And named range now comes up when data is there, click OK. Same thing happens, drag the fields in, uh, sell salesperson and quarter to filter and location to fields and if you want into options tick that okay now I didn't select a sheet so it's dropped it on to a separate sheet which is the default option and you can see there's like empty at the bottom which is all the blank rows at the bottom of the source data so you just have to go down into the filter options there and take that off you don't want to look at that and then you, you're looking at the this, this stuff that's got data in. So that's the first example. Now the second example, I'm not going to use a name range. I'm just going to create a pivot table that's going to look at courses and count of courses and the amount of money each course made. So I'm in the list. So I'll go to the insert tab, pivot table, current selection this time. 
OK. And if I go into source this time, I want this to be on this sheet. So I'll just click onto the sheet behind if it lets me. If not, I'll have to click on this little tool and then it should let me. OK, let's get in there eventually. Now, I want to do this slightly different. So I do want to go course into rows and course into data. So that'll say count of courses. I want that to say it says sum of course at the minute. So if I double click on it, I can change that to count. OK, and then I want cost to go in there. And again, if I double click on that, you can see that you can change these. And then you can change the display value to be whatever you want it to be as well. So at the moment, that's OK. I'll leave it on normal. And then I want to put location in filters. And then let's have a look at that. OK. So there you go. Now, if I double click on these figures, nothing's happening because I didn't tick that option. So if I want to get into there, I need to just right click and get into properties and then into options and then tick enable okay to that and then that should allow me to double click and drop it into a separate sheet which it does now one of the things you have to bear in mind with the pivot table is that the data might not be live so if I change this data there this pivot table hasn't immediately picked that up so again if you've got to right click and refresh the data and then it picks it up so every time you use a pivot table you should really um, make sure you refresh the data so it is up to date. Now, if I want to put a graph on this, it's two columns. Let's see what happens here. If I go insert chart, chart comes in. I want a column and line chart, and I want that option. I'll just go finish, and then we get this weird looking thing. It's not actually doing what I want it to do. So, we need to format this a little bit. So, if I um, double click on this line, I can set that to secondary axes. OK. And then we get the cost down this side and the count of the courses down this side. So that's how you do a graph on two axes. You just, just basically click on the thing and change it around. And then now we've got this, this graph looking at this data. And again, this is filtered by location. So if I select leads, OK, that's now just showing me the courses in leads and the amount I made. So that was a very quick look at how to do a pivot table, a basic pivot table in Calc. So we did two options. We've looked at the one using the named range and we've looked at the one using um, just the data itself. So hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.